ओम ज्ञानम तिमिलंदस्य ज्ञानं जनशलाय रक्षुगुणान्वितमेना तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोविष्ठं स्थापितं मेन भूतले स्वरूपं तदा मह्यं ददाति स्वपदं दिनं वन्देहं श्री गुरु श्री उतापद कमलं श्री गुरु वैष्णवं च श्री रूपं साधुजातं सहगणगुणातवितं तं सजीवं साधुवेतं तावदूतं परिजन सहितं कृष्ण चैतन्य देवं निर्विशेषुन्यवादिपाशतेशतारिणेकुणाचंदूदीन बंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपे कांताराधा कांत नमस्ते कंचन गौरांगी श्री राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय कृपा सिंधु पावनेभ्यो वैष्णेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वेदाधर श्रीवासादी गौर भक्तुंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जगत गुरु शिल हरे कृष्ण बाबू जी आई बी लिस्निंग बोर्ड फॉर फर्स्ट टेन मिनट्स ओके The Shrimad Bhagavatam confirms that material enjoyment is based upon nothing more than the sexual combination of man and woman. In the beginning, a boy thinks, "Oh, that girl is nice," and the girl th- says, "That boy is nice." When they meet, the material contamination becomes more prominent, and when they actually enjoy sex, they become more attached, completely attached. How, as soon as a boy and girl are married, they want an apartment, then they have children. and when they have children they want social recognition society friendship and love in this way their material attachment goes on increasing and all of this requires money a man who is too materialistic will cheat anyone kill anyone beg borrow or steal anything to bring money he knows that his buildings his family his wife and children cannot continue to exist perpetually they are just like bubbles in the ocean they have come into existence and after a little while they will be gone but he is too much attached he will sacrifice his spiritual advancement for the pursuit of money to maintain them his perverted consciousness i am this body i belong to this material world i belong to this country i belong to this community i belong to this religion i belong to this family becomes greater and greater thank you deepak prabhu ha yes roj ji where is his, uh, where is his krishna consciousness he becomes so entangled that money becomes more valuable to him than his own life in other words he can risk his life for money the householder the laborer the merchant the thief the the takat the rogue everyone is after money this is illusion one loses himself in the midst of this entanglement Hey Krishna, Pralad Maharaj says that in this state, when you are too much implicated in materialism, you cannot cultivate Krishna consciousness. Therefore, one should practice Krishna consciousness from early childhood. Of course, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is so kind that he says. better late than never even though you, you missed the opportunity to begin krishna consciousness from childhood begin now in whatever position you are that is chaitanya mahaprabhu's uh, teaching he never said because you did not begin krishna consciousness from your childhood you cannot make progress no he is very kind he has given us this nice process of chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare when you are young or whether you are young or old no matter what you are just begin you do not know when your life will be finished 
If you chant seriously, even for a moment, it will have great effect. It will save you from the greatest danger, becoming an animal in your next life. Talak. Although only five years old, Pralad Maharaj speaks just like a very experienced and educated man, because he received knowledge from his spiritual master. Now, goes in the next chapter of the Shrimad Bhagavatam, seven point seven. Wisdom does not depend on age. But the knowledge received from received from a superior source, one cannot become a wise man simply by advancement of age. No, that is not possible. Knowledge has to be received from a superior source, then one can become wise. It does not matter whether one is a five-year-old boy or a fifty-year-old man, as it is said, by wisdom one becomes an old man even without advanced age. Hare Krishna. So, although Parlad was only five years old, by advancement in knowledge, he was imparting perfect instructions to his classmates. Some may find these instructions unpalatable. Suppose a man is already married, and Parlad says, "Take to Krishna consciousness." You will think, "Oh, how can I leave my wife?" We talk so nicely together, sit together, and enjoy. How can I leave? Family attraction is very strong. I'm an old man, seventy-two years old. I have been away from my family during the last fourteen years. Yet sometimes I also think of my wife and children. This is quite natural, but that doesn't mean I have to go back. I have to go back. This is knowledge. When the mind wanders to thought of sense gratification, one should at once understand this is illusion. According to Vedic system, one has to forcibly give up family life at the age of fifty. One must go. There is no alternative. The first twenty-five years are for a student life. From age five to age twenty-five, one should educated very nicely in Krishna consciousness. The basic principle of one's education should be Krishna consciousness, nothing else. Then life will be pleasing and successful, both in this world and in the next. A Krishna conscious education means one is trained to give up material consciousness altogether. That is perfect Krishna consciousness. Okay. Uh, Hare Krishna, Navin Puri, uh, are you free now? Sorry. ओके So family life is not condemned, but if a man forgets his spiritual identity and simply becomes entangled in material affairs, then he is lost. His life's mission mission is lost. If one thinks I cannot protect myself from the attack of sex desire, then let him be married. That is prescribed. But don't have illicit sex. If you want a girl, if you want a boy, then get married and live in Krishna consciousness. Mm. A person who is trained in Krishna consciousness from childhood naturally becomes disinclined toward the material way of life, and at the age of fifty, he gives it up. How does he start giving it up? The husband and wife leave home and travel together on pilgrimage. It from twenty-five to fifty-one remains in family life. One should have some grown-up children. So at age fifty, the husband intros the family affairs to some of his sons. Who are family man and he and his wife go on pilgrimage to the holy places in order to forget family attachments. When the gentleman is completely matured in attachment, he asks his wife to go home to their children, and he remains alone. That is the Vedic system. We have to give ourselves a chance to progress in spiritual life, step by step. 
Otherwise, if we remain attached to material consciousness throughout all our days, we will not perfect our Krishna consciousness and we shall remain, miss the opportunity of this human form of life. Hare Krishna. So called happy family life means that we have a very loving wife and loving children. Thus, we enjoy life, but we do not know that this enjoyment is false, that it is resting on a false platform. At once, in the twinkling of an eye, we enjoyment. Death is not under our control. From the Bhagavad Gita, we learn that if one dies, while too much attached to one's wife, the result will be that in his next life, he will have the body of a woman. And if the wife is very attached to her husband, he will get a man's body in her next life. Similarly, if you are not a family man, but are attached to a cat or dog, then your next life will be as a cat or dog. These are the laws of karma or material nature. <clears throat> the whole point is that one should begin Krishna consciousness immediately. Suppose one thinks, after finishing my sporting life, when I'm old and there's nothing else to do, then I shall go to the Krishna consciousness society and hear something. Certainly, at that time, one can take a future life. But what is the assurance that one will live to, to an old age? One may die at any time. So postponing one's future life is very risky. Therefore, one should take the opportunity now to advance in Krishna consciousness. That is the purpose of the society. To give everyone a chance to begin Krishna consciousness at any stage of life. And with the process of chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare, advancement is very quick. There is an immediate result. Uh, turn, yeah? yes, we request all the ladies and gentlemen who are very kindly attending our lectures on uh, or reading our literature to chant Hare Krishna during your leisure hours at home and to read our books. That is our request. We are sure that you will find this process very pleasing and very effective. We are good. So we are moving to the next lesson. I love Krishna more than anything. Yes. Uh, okay. Now, Pallad Maharaj makes a further statement about the complications of material life. He compares the attached householder to the silkworm. The silkworm wraps itself in the cocoon made of its own saliva. Uh, until he is in a prison from which he cannot escape, in the same way a materialistic householder and his entanglement becomes so tight that he attractions. Even though there are so many miseries in materialistic family life, he cannot break free. Uh, why? He thinks that sex life and eating palatable dishes are most important. Therefore, in spite of so, so many miserable conditions, he cannot give them up. I'm ready, Prabhuji, now. Yes, Prabhuji, please. Thank you, and sorry. In this way, when a person is too much entangled in family life, he cannot think of his real benefit to escape from material life. Although he is always disturbed by the threefold miseries of materialistic life, still, because of a strong family affection, he cannot come out. He does not know that he is wasting his limited duration of life simply for family affection. He is spoiling the life that was meant for realizing his eternal self, for realizing his real spiritual life. Okay. Yeah. Therefore, Prahlad says to his demoniac friends, please give up the company of those who are simply after material enjoyment. Just associate with persons who have taken to Krishna consciousness. That is his advice. He says to his friends that this Krishna consciousness is easy to attain. Why? Krishna consciousness is actually very dear to us, but we have forget, forgot, forgotten it. Therefore, anyone who takes to Krishna consciousness becomes more and more affected by it and forgets his material consciousness. If you are in a foreign country, you might forget your home and your family members and friends who are very dear to you. But if you are all of a sudden reminded of your home and friends, you will once become very preoccupied. How shall I meet them? In San Francisco, one of our friends told me that long ago he left his young children and went to another country. Recently, a letter came, letter came from his grown-up son, and at once the father remembered his affection for him and sent some money. 
the affection automatically came even though he had forgotten his child for so many years similarly our affection for krishna is so intimate that as soon as there is some touch of krishna consciousness we at once revive our relationship with him hi krishna everyone has some particular relationship with krishna the supreme lord which he has forgotten but as we become krishna conscious gradually our old consciousness of our relationship with krishna is revived and when our consciousness is actually in the clear state we can understand our particular relationship with krishna one may have a relationship with krishna as a son or servant as a friend as a parent or as a beloved wife or lover all these relationships are pervertedly reflective in life in the material world but as soon as we come to platform of krishna consciousness our old relationship with krishna is revived we love every one of us first i love my body because my self is within this body so actually i love myself better than the body but that self has intimate relationship with krishna because the self is a part and parcel of krishna therefore i love krishna more than anything and because krishna is all pervading i love everything yes so unfortunately we have forgotten that krishna god is all pervading okay. this uh, unfortunately we have forgotten that krishna god is all pervading this memory has to be revived as soon as we revive our krishna consciousness we can see anything in relationship with krishna and then everything becomes lovable now i love you or you love me but that love is on the platform of this happy mere body but when love of krishna is developed i will love not only you but every living entity because the outward designation the body will be forgotten when a person becomes fully krishna conscious he does not think here is a man here is an animal here is a cat here is a dog here is a worm he sees everyone as part and parcel of krishna this is very nicely explained in bhagavad gita one who is actually learned in krishna consciousness becomes a lover of everyone in the universe unless one is situated on krishna conscious platform there is no question of universal brotherhood if we actually want to implement the idea of universal brotherhood then we will have to come to the platform of krishna consciousness hari krishna yes ruji ha ah, okay not material consciousness as long as we are in material consciousness our lovable objects will be limited but when we are actually in krishna consciousness our, our lovable objects will be universal that is stated by prahlad maharaj beginning from the non moving plants and trees are and extending up to the highest living creature brahma the supreme personality of god is present everywhere by his expansion as the parmatma the feature of the lord in in everyone's heart as soon as we become krishna conscious the that extension of the supreme personality of god at parmatma induces us to love every object in relation with krishna yes. so we are moving on to the next lesson realizing that god is everywhere Yes, Navin Dozi. Maharaj Prahlad informed his classmates about the all pervasiveness of the Supreme Lord. But although the Supreme Lord is all pervasive by means of his expansions and his energy, that does not mean he has lost his personality. That is significant. Although he is all pervading, still he is a person. According to our material perception, if something is all pervading, then it has no personality, no localized aspect. but god is not like that for example the sunshine is all pervading but the sun also has a localized aspect the sun planet and you can see it not only is there is a sun planet but within the sun planet is the sun god whose name is vishwan we get this information from vedic literature there is no way to understand there is no way to understand what is taking place on other planets except to hear from authorized sources in the modern civilization we accept scientists as authorities in these matters we hear a scientist say he have seen the moon it is such and such and we believe it we have not gone with the scientist to see the moon but we believe him belief is the basic principle of understanding
belief is the basic principle of understanding. You may believe the scientists or you may believe the Vedas. It is up to you which source you believe. The difference is that the information from the Vedas is infallible, while that received from the scientist is fallible. Why is the scientist's information fallible? Because an ordinary man conditioned by material nature has four defects. What are they? The first is that a conditioned human being has imperfect senses. We view the sun, we view the sun as a small disk. Why? It is far, far greater than this earth, but we see it just as a disk. Everyone knows that our seeing power, our hearing power, and so on are limited. But because these, but because his senses are imperfect, the conditioned soul is uh, is sure to make uh, to commit mistakes. However, greater great, however great a scientist he may be, not very long ago in this country there was a disaster when the scientist tried to send a rocket up, but it at once burned to ashes. So there was a mistake. The conditioned soul must make mistakes because that is the nature of conditioned life. The mistake may be very great or very slight. That doesn't matter. But a human being conditioned by material nature is, is sure to commit mistakes. Further, the conditioned soul must become illusioned. This happens when you continually make mi mistakes one thing for something else. For example, we accept the body as the self. Since I am not this body, my acceptance of the body as myself is an illusion. The whole world is going on under the illusion that I am this body. Therefore, there is no peace. I am thinking that I am Indian. You are thinking that you are American. And a Chinese man is thinking that he is Chinese. What is this? Chinese, American and Indian. It is an illusion based on the body. That's all. Hare Krishna. The propensity to cheat is the core defect of conditioned life. I may be a fool, but I will boast that I am very learned. Everyone who is illusioned and commits mistakes is a fool, but still such fools pose themselves as being sources of infallible knowledge. So all conditioned souls have imperfect senses. They are subject to commit mistakes and become illusioned, and they are influenced by the propensity to cheat. How can one expect real knowledge from such conditioned souls? There is no possibility of receiving actual knowledge from them. Whether the person is a scientist, a philosopher or whatever. Because he is conditioned, he cannot give us information. No matter how educated he may be. That is a fact. Ashwini uh, Prabhuji. One, <clears throat> one may now ask, how can we get complete information? The process is to receive knowledge via the disciplic succession of spiritual masters and disciples, beginning with Krishna. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says to Arjuna, this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita was first spoken by me to the sun god. And the sun god spoke it to his son, Manu. In turn, Manu spoke this knowledge to his son, Ishvaku. And then Ishvaku spoke the same to his son. In this way, the knowledge was has come down. But unfortunately, the disciplic succession is now broken. Therefore, O oh Arjuna, I am now imparting the same knowledge to you because you are my dear friend and a good devotee. This is the process of receiving perfect knowledge to accept the transcendental vibration coming down from higher sources. The entire stock of ethic knowledge is a transcendental vibration to help us understand this. Deepak Prabhuji. Uh, yes, Prabhuji, sir. So, Pallad Maharaj says that Supreme Personality of Godhead is identical with all pervading Supreme Soul, the Paramatma. The same information appears in the Brahma Samhita that the Supreme Lord, although situated in his own transcendental abode, is all pervading. Still, although he is present everywhere, we cannot see him with our imperfect senses. Pallad Maharaj says, then says, Although he is not seen, he can still be perceived. One who is intelligent can perceive the presence of the Supreme Lord everywhere. How is this possible? During the daytime, even someone in a room can know that sun is up. 
because it is light in his doom he can understand that the sun is shining in the sky similarly those who have received perfect knowledge in reciprocal succession know that everything is an expansion of the energy of the supreme lord therefore they see the lord everywhere what can we perceive with our material senses we can see what is visible to the material eye earth water fire but we cannot see air although we can perceive it by touch we can understand that there is a sky by sound and we can understand that we have a mind because we are thinking feeling and willing similarly we can understand that we have an intelligence which guides the mind if we go still further we can understand i am consciousness and one who is further advanced can understand that the sources of consciousness is the soul and above all the super soul the visible things around us are expansions of the inferior energy of the supreme lord but the lord also has a superior energy consciousness we have to understand consciousness from higher authorities but we can also directly perceive it for example we can perceive that there is consciousness spread all over the body if i pinch any part of my body i will feel pain that means there is consciousness throughout my body in the bhagavad gita krishna says that we should try to understand that consciousness is spread all over the body and that it is eternal similarly consciousness is spread all over this universe but that is not our consciousness that's a, that is god's consciousness so god the supreme soul is all pervading by his consciousness one who understand this has begin his krishna consciousness hari krishna i think we can stop now that we can discuss it's already said would you if you don't mind we can just read for 3 4 minutes and complete I okay, paragraph two paragraph sure, sure. yeah okay okay yeah please continue thank you our process is to dovetail our consciousness with krishna consciousness that we make perfect it is not that we merge <coughs> it is not that we merge into that consciousness in one sense we merge but still we keep our individuality that is the difference between impersonalist philosophy and krishna conscious philosophy impersonalist philosopher says that perfection means to merge into the supreme and lose our identity he say that in the perfectionist state we merge into the supreme <clears throat> but keep our individuality how is that and really it starts from here or it lines up and and when it goes very high we cannot see it Can sky, but the airplane is not lost. It is still there. Another example is that of a green bird entering into a big green tree. We cannot distinguish the bird from the tree, but they both continue to exist. Um, <clears throat> नेटवर्क का इशू है सुप्रीम कृष्णा and when the dopte la our individual consciousness with the supreme we become perfect but keep our individuality and outsider may think that there is no distinction between uh, god and his pure devotee but it is due only but it is due only to a poor fund of knowledge every individual person every individual being maintain his individuality eternally even when dopte with the supreme yes pratlad mara says that we cannot see consciousness either supreme consciousness or individual consciousness but that it is there how can you understand that it is there 
we can understand the supreme consciousness and our individual consciousness simply by the perception of blissfulness because we have consciousness we can feel anand or pleasure without consciousness there is no feeling of pleasure because of consciousness we can enjoy life by applying our senses in whatever way we like but as soon as consciousness is gone from the body we cannot enjoy our senses did you prove yes toji parat maras says that we cannot seek our consciousness toji no sorry uh, you have to start from here yes our consciousness exists because we are part and parcel of the supreme consciousness for example a spark is only a tiny particle of the fire yet the spark is also fire a drop of the atlantic ocean possesses the same quality as all the ocean water it is also salty similarly because the pleasure potency exists in the supreme lord we can also enjoy pleasure the lord is parameshwar the supreme controller therefore we are also ishwaras or controllers for example i have some controlling power to take a drink of water when i cough according to our capacity every one of us has some controlling power but we are not the supreme controller the supreme controller is god krishna because krishna is the supreme controller he can control all universal affairs by his different uh, potencies i also feel that i am controlling my bodily affairs to some extent but because i am not the supreme controller if there is something wrong in this body i have to go to a physician similarly i have no control over the bodies i speak of this hand as my hand because i can work with this hand and move it accordingly according to my desire but i am not the controller of your hand if i desire to move your hand that is not in my power that is in your power you can move your hand if you like so i am not the controller of your body and you are not the controller of my body but the supreme soul is the controller of your body and my body and everybody In the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord says to you, uh, says that you, the soul, are present in your body, and that your body is the field of your activities. So whatever you are doing is limited by the field of your body. An animal bound up in a certain tract of land can move there, but cannot go beyond what that space allows. Similarly, your activity and my activity are bound up within the limits of our bodies. My body is my field of activities, and your body is your field of activities. But Krishna says, "I am present in every field." Thus, Krishna, as the super soul or Paramatma, knows what is going on my in my body, in your body, and in millions and billions of other bodies. therefore he is the supreme controller we have our limited energy but his energy is unlimited by his controlling power by his supreme will this material creation is moving that is also confirmed in the bhagavad gita where krishna states under my super intendence the whole material world, nature is working all wonderful things that you see in this material world are due to my supervision my supreme cold control hari krishna moving to the next chapter krishna consciousness the perfection of murti नाउ Hare Krishna, Mata Ji. I think we can stop. Uh, probably it's getting late for others. Right? Okay. That's okay, Prabhu Ji. Let's finish this tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. What do you think, Ashwin Prabhu Ji? Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah. We discuss for sakti hum log. Hmm. Because you need at least five ten minutes there, so let's stop. Yeah. Okay. So, and whoever getting late i think should go first <laughs> yeah yeah that is also true so mata ji aapka shayad abhi bhi network issue chal raha hai yeah hey krishna hari krishna hari abhi abhi yes mata ji 
ओके सॉरी बट आज मैं उतने कंसंट्रेशन से सुन नहीं पाई आई थिंक अभी भी है वॉइस ब्रेक हो रहा है आई डोंट नो इट जस्ट मी और सबको हो रहा है हो रहा है वॉइस ब्रेक हो रहा है Yeah, I think still network issue. Network Maybe issue. next devotee can go. Yeah. Anushka Mata ji. Ah, ji, pro ji. Ah, pro ji. Starting me, pro paaji ne wo family attraction ke baare mein bataya tha ki. कि उन्हें भी कभी कभी ऐसा लगता था कि वो भी अपनी फैमिली को याद करते हैं या कभी उनके बारे में या, या ऐसा बोल रहे थे वो कि ऐसा नहीं है कि वो उनके बारे में कभी सोचते नहीं है तो प्रभुपात जी बता रहे थे कि अगर सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन के अगर माइंड बोलता है कि नहीं इन सब के बारे में सोचने के लिए तो वो सब चीजें इल्यूजन है और ये ये पॉइंट प्रोजेक्ट मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा था कि वो इल्यूजन होता है प्रोजेक्ट वो फोर डिफेक्ट्स जो बताए थे कि इम्परफेक्ट सेंसेस कि हम आ, हमारे सेंसेस बहुत लिमिटेड हैं तो हम चीज एज इट इज नहीं समझ सकते और सेकंड सेकंड ये था कि हम मिस्टेक इसकी वजह से हम आ, बहुत ज़्यादा मिस्टेक्स करते हैं चीज़ों को समझने में और थर्ड ये था कि हम इल्यूजन में रहते हैं कि वी आर दिस बॉडी वी आर नॉट द सोल ये इंडियन अमेरिकन वाला इल्यूजन में रहते हैं और लास्ट ये था ये चीटिंग प्रोपेंसिटी वाला थैंक यू थैंक यू माता जी कनक यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर समथिंग दीपक प्रभु यस आवाज आ रही है यस 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 जी जी तो मुझे जो पॉइंट अच्छा लगा था वो जो प्रभुपा जी बता रहे थे कि पहला महाराज बोलते हैं कि हम पांच साल की उम्र से ही भक्ति स्टार्ट करनी चाहिए और फिर प्रभुपा जी बताते हैं कि लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु बोलते हैं कि बेटर लेट नेवर तो ये काफी अच्छा पॉइंट लगा था कि चैतन्य महाप्रभु की मर्सी बहुत ज्यादा है हमारे ऊपर की अगर हम लेट भी हैं तो उसके लिए भी बोल रहे हैं कि बस आप हरे नाम लो और कृष्णा कॉन्शियस में प्रोग्रेस करो एंड सेकंड पॉइंट प्रभु जी स्टार्ट रूपा जी बता रहे थे कि पोस्टपोन अवर स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ इज वेरी रिस्की तो जैसे हम सोचते हैं कभी कभी अरे मैं बाद में कर लूंगा अभी अभी सोलह माला क्या करूँ मैं बाद में स्टार्ट कर लूंगा अभी तो ये चल रहा है अभी वो चल रहा है ये चल रहा है तो प्रभुपा जी बताते हैं कि वेरी रिस्की रिस्की बिकॉज वी कैन डाई फ्रॉम एनी मोमेंट तो कभी भी हम कभी भी हमारी मृत्यु आ सकती है तो हमें उसके लिए तैयार रहना चाहिए हमें इसे तैयारी करते रहना चाहिए यस थैंक यू सो माय रिलाइजेशन सर माय रिलाइजेशन इज अभी प्रभुपा जी ने बताया कि भगवान इज इम्पर्सनली सोचते हैं ना कि भगवान इज नो फॉर्म बिकॉज इज ऑल परवेडिंग तो प्रभुपा बताया कि ऐसे तो बहुत अच्छा एनोलॉजी यूज करेगी सूर्य है जब जब हम कमरे में सूर्य का प्रकाश देखते हैं तो ये कॉमन अंडरस्टैंडिंग आ जाती है कि हाँ सूर्य मतलब ये प्रकाश सूर्य से आ रहा है तो तो इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि अगर हम प्रकाश देखें तो सूर्य कोई फॉर्म नहीं है बट स्टिल अगर हम आ, मतलब मेटलिस्टिकली मतलब साइंस के थ्रू भी जाए तो एक सूर्य का एक फॉर्म है विच इज राउंड तो ऐसी भगवान का एफ कृष्णा इज ऑल परवेडिंग तो इट डीन दट कृष्णा इज नो फॉर्म कृष्णा इज ऑल्सो है फॉर्म Uh, it is similar to that the sun sunlight, and uh, the second one is uh, uh, yes as uh, Deepak Prabhu has said it better. Ah, uh, मतलब uh, आप मतलब जब जागो तो भी सवेरा है ना तो Krishna consciousness में मतलब चेतना आप लोगों ने हम पे मर्जी करी थी. Whenever ah uh, मतलब जब भी हमें realize हो ना we should start at the at that very moment. Ah uh, yes that's all from my side. Ah, Navin Prabhu. Sure Prabhu ji. आज तो आप सब लोगों ने बहुत अच्छी जो पंच बोल दी. Yes. कपल ऑफ थिंग्स एक तो वो जो प्रभुपाद ने यूनिवर्सल की की जो बात की थी देर कैन नॉट बी देर कैन नॉट बी यूनिवर्सलिटी और पीस सो कॉल्ड अंटिल यू नो जब तक हम कृष्ण कॉन्शियस नहीं हो जाते सॉरी ऑल दो वी हैव यूनाइटेड नेशंस एंड सो मेनी सो मेनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइट बट स्टिल वेयर डू वी सी पीस इन दिस वर्ल्ड कोई भी ऐसी जगह बता दो आप यहाँ है राइट तो अनलेस पीपल बिकम Krishna conscious or God conscious, till that point really like another point I was thinking 
if you so we have read like five or six weeks or so far and everywhere prabhupad has given so much emphasis on sense control and uh, oh, sex life and love is so strong and i was thinking it's really ek aisa wo maya ka wo hai ki it's so strong and like and there is no way you can come it actually let me tell you this ki there is no way aap isko jeet sakte there is only way you can what you can do is take shelter of krishna holy name and pray to holy name and with that hope by mercy only we can come out of it but by apne endeavor so there is no way i really like jahan pe prabhu pad ne bole the ki aadmi uh, how the whole analogy he gave about husband or oh, girlfriend boyfriend wala and then how things turn out right then they get married get apartment get kids or blah 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 and it, it was really nice and we are ready to go to an extent any extent where we are ready to kill rob do anything right to to maintain our family and then we justify also so but yeah that, that's all for me for my side thank you so much for the question is there yeah purport batate hain ki pranad maharaj shrimad bhagavatam mein jab apne friends ke sath ye knowledge share kiya karte the to purad maharaj kehte hain ki too much attachment in uh, material life is a hindrance to spiritual life तो इसका मतलब मटेरियलिस्टिक पर्सन जो है उसका तो कोई चांस ही नहीं है कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस में आने का बिकॉज इज टू मच अटैच्ड बट देन वी सी डिवोटीज आल्सो वी कीप हियरिंग दैट डिवोटीज आल्सो दैट माय साधना इज नॉट गोइंग आई डोंट नो व्हाट टू डू तो फिर उसका क्या रीजन है बिकॉज दे नो एवरीथिंग सो अगेन इसका भी आंसर हमें भगवत गीता में मिलता है जहाँ पर भगवान बोल रहे हैं भोगेश्वर प्रसत्ता नाम तय पचे व्यवसाय आत्मिक बुद्धि समाधोना विधीयते समाधोना विधीयते मींस दे कैन नॉट हैव देयर माइंड फिक्स्ड इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस एंड द रीजन इज भोगेश्वर है प्रसक्ता नाम दे आर टू मच अटैच्ड इन मटेरियल एंजॉयमेंट नाउ टू द डिग्री वी आर डूइंग नाइस साधना टू दैट मच डिग्री वी हैव डिटैच्ड आवर सेल्फ फ्रॉम मटेरियल एंजॉयमेंट एंड टू द डिग्री वी आर स्ट्रगलिंग टू दैट डिग्री वी हैव अटैच्ड आवर सेल्फ इन मटेरियल अटैचमेंट दैट इज द सिंपल फंडा तो मटेरियलिस्टिक के लिए तो जीरो हो गया वो तो कुछ साधना कर ही नहीं रहा है तो उधर ही चल लगा हुआ है तो जब हम प्रीचिंग करते हैं वैन गिव वे गिव हिम नॉलेज सो जितना उसका इंटरेस्ट हम डेवलप कर सके उतना ही इंटरेस्ट वो फिर स्पिरिचुअलिटी में लेगा और वहाँ पे उसका भोगेश्वर्य प्रसक्ता नाम जो है वो थोड़ा कम होगा एंड देन समाधो विधि हो सकता है तो फ्रॉम प्रोचिंग परस्पेक्टिव से भी यहाँ पे एक पॉइंट है कि हम जब प्रीच करें तो सामने वाले को सिर्फ नॉलेज ना दें उसको हम थोड़ा इंटरेस्ट इस तरह से पैकेज बना के दें कि ही फील इंटरेस्टेड और अपना साधना पर्सपेक्टिव से भी हमारा है कि अगर हम अच्छी साधना कर रहे हैं तो हमें हेल्प मिलेगी उस मेटेरियल इंक्लिनेशन को कम करने में तो टू द डिग्री वी आर स्ट्रगलिंग टू दैट डिग्री वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी आर दैट मच अटैच टू मटेरियल इंजॉयमेंट That is one point and secondly uh, जो हम भक्तों में भी देखते हैं कि प्रभात मैं पर्सन ट्रेंड इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस हैव डिस इंक्लिनेशन टूवर्ड मटेरियल लाइफ तो ये तो मैं खुद देखा हूँ पुणे में रहता था तो वहाँ पे भक्तों की माइक्रोसॉफ्ट और गूगल में जॉब लग गई और एक टाइम पे हम लोग भी जब कॉलेज में पढ़ते थे तो ये होता था नहीं गूगल में जॉब मिले एक सपना हुआ करता था गूगल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फेसबुक ये सब इसी कंपनी में जॉब करना डिवोटीज को देखते हैं छोड़ छोड़ के कर्मचारी बन जाते हैं जो गृहस्थी बन रहे हैं वो कह रहे हैं नहीं बड़ी कंपनी बहुत ज्यादा काम छोड़ के छोटा मोटा कंपनी पकड़ते हैं वहाँ काम करते हैं जिसमें कम हैडक है तो या दिस इज अवर रियलाइजेशन पॉइंट कि यस वी हैव सीन पीपल इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस दे आर दिस डिवोटीज आर रियली वेरी ग्लोरियस एंड देन आई लाइक द पॉइंट वेयर मतलब ये हम एनालॉगी परस्पेक्टिव से है कि जैसे हम बोलते हैं पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ कृष्णा बिकॉज कृष्णा इज द कोज ऑफ एवरीथिंग बट जनरल पर्पस को पब्लिक को हम कैसे बता सकते हैं कि वी आर लिमिटेड बट कृष्णा इज अनलिमिटेड सो दैट पॉइंट वेयर के पास से वी आर लिमिटेड इन दिस बॉडी तो हमारा जो कॉन्शियसनेस है वो इसी बॉडी के अंदर है यानी कि मैं अपना हाथ मूव कर सकता हूँ बिकॉज माई कॉन्शियसनेस इज लिमिटेड बट टू मूव अदर ऑब्जेक्ट आई यू आई लैव टू यूज दिस हैंड टू मूव दैट ऑब्जेक्ट क्योंकि मैं मेरी कॉन्शियसनेस वहां तक नहीं है मैं लिमिटेड हूँ बट कृष्णा इज अनलिमिटेड अनलिमिटेडली स्प्रेड एवरीवेयर 
तो ही इज डांसिंग नाइसली विद गोपीज इन गोलोक वृंदावन एंड बट एट द सेम टाइम he is also taking care of material spiritual affairs which means that he is spread limitedly everywhere he has he has the supreme consciousness baki two points sahi uh, waqt ne cover kar di hai so thank you so much thank you so much for this uh, very enlightening points uh, so we can anything anyone want to add no okay so we can stop जय